Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today I have a pretty interesting watch from uh, Asia. Now this is the Toyota PT950. It's like a watch with a coin inside of it. Not a real platinum coin, but a platinum plated coin, I believe. Anyway, here's the packaging it came in. It came pretty quick. These are available on Amazon for $279.99. I think it's just something different, you know, than the usual uh, that we review here on this channel. So let me open the box here. As you can see, Chioda on the inside. And here is the watch, as you can see. Uh, quite a nice little design there on this coin-style dial. Kind of reminds me of the Quorum coin-style watch. Inside. We do get your Chioda uh, manual, as well as a warranty card, I believe, yep. Looks like more of an ID card to me. Uh, looks like kind of a Chinese driver's license or something of that nature, but here is your warranty and certificate. Uh, everything is there, so that's uh, pretty cool, I think. Anyway, let me get this watch off the pillow here. And we can slowly get into reviewing this watch. Now on my wrist today is the Rolex President 18038, which I bought last year uh, for my birthday, I believe. Or I bought it two months before my birthday. <laughs> I couldn't wait. But uh, yeah, I've been enjoying this watch a lot. Anyway, let's get into this review of this Chiyoda watch. So I did bring my calipers on the show today, and we'll be using these to measure the watch in front of you. I thought it'd be something different instead of doing it behind the scenes. In terms of case thickness, we are looking at about 10 millimeters there. We do have 20 millimeters between the lugs, as you can see there. So pretty standard. The case itself is 38 millimeters. So 38 here, uh, in a case, very circular case. I believe this is all solid 316L stainless steel. Well, the actual coin inside here, as you can see with the eagle on here, is platinum plated 950 platinum. And that's what that certificate is for. So I think that's pretty cool, you know. It's definitely something different. I didn't really see any other brands doing stuff like this. Now, Chioda also makes watch winders, I believe. As my friend Jody from Just One More Watch did mention that to me, that he reviewed one of their watch winders. And I had no idea that they made watch winders. Uh, I just kind of knew that they made watches like this on Amazon. Anyway, a nice little look at the case. We do get a pull and push crown. We do get a solid steel case back, as you can see. This watch is only water resistant to th uh, 30 meters, or th 3 ATMs, like I stated. Inside, uh, powering this watch is a Swiss quartz movement, two-handed Swiss quartz movement. Uh, nice, polished, very pencil-like hands here, uh, which uh, it's kind of hard to read, actually, a little bit in some different lighting conditions. As you can see there, it kind of blends in with that platinum plating. Genuine sapphire crystal, as you can see here, uh, on top of this eagle. And very easy to use, just one position, very small but grippable crown. As you can see, we can set the time here. Very easy to use, very easy to function. And yeah, it's a very simple watch. Now the band it comes on is a genuine leather band, and as you can see, it is marked genuine leather here. It's very thin, and I really don't like the front of the band. It feels kind of cheap, but the back side feels much better. I uh, don't know about that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much to it. Obviously, there's no loom shots today, as you can see. This is a pretty straightforward watch. If I get you a little closer here, you can really see how it looks. The design, kind of the roll there with the eagle on the left-hand side. Uh, just pretty cool, you know, something very different. Uh, my wrist is 6.5 inches. This watch is 38 millimeters. And let's see how it looks on the wrist. Now, there she is on my 6.5 inch wrist, as you can see. Where is very slim. Uh, the strap is broken in already. I do like how they did the buckle in that V-shape. It's very, you know, in tune with the aesthetic of the actual polished case there, as you can see. I must say, the polishing on the case is actually really good. Uh, I did notice that. But, yeah, definitely something pretty unique here. And, like I said, the buckle is definitely the best part of the strap there. But, um, yeah, nonetheless, something different. I think the only improvements I would add to this watch is a... I would say add a bit of a higher quality band to it for the 280 price point. But you can definitely find a link down below on Amazon where you can pick one of these up. I believe they have a gold plated one as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. Definitely throw it a like. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that button right now in the bottom right corner, the red button that says subscribe. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>